So I'm in a Microsoft Teams meeting, and for those of you that use Teams, you may notice that I'm using a video background, me and the Millennium Falcon, uh, that is not something that you normally can see inside of Microsoft Teams. In fact, Microsoft Teams, as of the time of this recording, doesn't allow you to upload and use your own video background. Uh, it's something that's been available in Zoom, and it's something that's been available in WebEx, but I wanted it in Teams because this... Microsoft Teams is what my organization uses. So I'm going to show you, because I just learned today, I'm going to show you how you can upload and use your own video background right here in Teams. Before we begin, you're going to need to have a video file to be your background. I use the Millennium Falcon in my example, but any MP4 video should do. For best results, try to get one that has an aspect ratio of 16.9, or widescreen as some of you may know it, I like to use videos that are 1920 by 1080 because they look crisper, but you can also use smaller resolutions such as 1280 by 720 or even 640 by 360. Generally, the larger the pixels, the more detailed the video looks behind you. If you don't have a video or just want one to test here at the beginning, I'll put a link in the description to download some that I've used, including that Millennium Falcon. I also encourage you to explore free sites such as Pixabay to find something that fits your personality and needs. Next, we're going to go through several steps to make this work, so be ready to pause the video as you follow along. What we're going to be doing is replacing Microsoft's built-in background videos with one of our own. To find where they're located, you first need to know if you're using classic Teams or new Teams. With Teams open, if there's an option in the upper left to try the new Teams, you're using classic Teams. If you don't see that, click on the three dots in the upper right to see if you have an option to turn off New Teams. If so, you're using New Teams. These options may change in the future if New Teams ever becomes the only option, but for now, that's how to figure out what you're using. Now that you know which version of Teams you're using, you'll need to go to the file location of the Teams background videos. From your File Explorer, type in C and hit Enter. Then, open the folder Users then your username, then app data. If you don't see app data as a folder, click on the view tab at the top of the screen and put a check mark next to hidden items. That will make it appear. With the app data folder open, your path to open the next folders depends on whether you have classic teams or new teams. The classic teams path is on the left of the screen and the new teams is on the right. You can also get to this location by typing out the entire path with slashes in between, but I prefer to click because one typo and it won't work, so you'll have to start all over again. Now would be a good time to pause this video so you can open up the folders listed. With the Backgrounds folder open, go ahead and drag in the video background you want to use. What we need to do now is replace one of the files named Feeling Dreamy with your new file. If you click on the Feeling Dreamy file, you'll see which background video you're about to replace. I like to take a moment and make a copy of the original Feeling Dreamy video, just in case I need to reverse this process later. Delete the original Feeling Dreamy video and name your new video you want to use with that exact same name. As of this video, there are only four Feeling Dreamy video backgrounds to choose from, so you'll have at most four custom video backgrounds you can use, without going through these steps again. Now, let's go back to Teams and start up a meeting. Before you enter, you can change your background through video effects. Choose the background that looks like the Feeling Dreamy video you just replaced, and you'll see your new, custom video background behind you in its place. This will also work if you change your camera's video background during a call. And that's it. Now you can impress your colleagues with your own custom video background. Enjoy!